Sam, the, the first game of the, the league campaign coming up this week, and I'm sure it's one the, the boys are all looking forward to. Yeah, yeah, can't wait. Looking forward to getting the league started. It's been a long pre season, and uh, hopefully, this weather clears up and it'll be a nice for weekend. <laughs> Obviously, the boys have had that cup tie just to get them ready for, for competitive action. How much did you need that to maybe just blow the cobwebs off a little bit more? Yeah, I think we needed, I think we still have, we haven't played. A lot of games together with us, like probably was one to seventeen, what you would think. Like obviously both of us are missing at weekend, um, so I think we need to probably get some uh, some minute, minutes together before it fully clicks. And obviously it's going to be it's going to be tough going this first month because weather's and pitches are always really heavy. Mm. So it's just about getting games boxed off as we can. Win, win ugly at times and just keep keep that. Uh, momentum moving forward. Obviously, as a team who are fancied for promotion, do you have to do that at times, winning ugly? And, and not every performance you have to sort of acknowledge isn't going to be the, the most sparkling on the eye. I think that's a sign of a good team. They don't it, it, just finding that way to win and that will to win. And obviously, everybody got, moving in the same direction is massive. Mm -hmm. I think obviously this year that's a bit, that's going to be a big important part for us to do to get to where we want to get to. Obviously, a lot of travelling involved in League One, that no more so. Obviously, North Wales this weekend. Is it about the boys managing the bodies as well and making sure they prepare right the, the couple of nights leading into that? Yeah, definitely. There's not, there's not as many places that's as pretty to play as the team on, so I think we've got to just get that, get his heads round it and, like you said, prepare well and get ready to do a job. Yeah, when you've got a long journey like we have on, on Sunday, probably a two or three hour trip down, how do you go about sort of making sure your body's ready and, and not sort of seizing up on that long journey on yeah, the bus down? Personally, you have a couple of stops and get over about a couple of coffees and just make sure you don't just eat. I mean, everybody has a different routine on a game day. I don't eat a lot on a game day, so just make sure you eat, do what's right for you. And obviously, them long trips will get us bonded close as well, so it can only do well for the team. And, in that aspect, everybody will know what everybody's doing and have a good calm and lunch, be good. Does that, well, is that where experience comes into play as well? We've got a lot of experienced boys in the group now and they can all sort of lead by example in, in how they look after themselves. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously you know your own body and after playing for so long, you kind of know what you need to do to get yourself ready for a game day and everybody has their own little routines, their own little bits of sweets or chocolate that they might want at the same times. And it's just everybody's a bit different. Game day is your own day and you just need to get yourself ready, I think. Is this week before the, the first league game where everybody steps it up a gear to make sure they're in that final 17 for the first game? You'd like to think so. Everybody we want to play in this week, everybody's fit. We've got, other than Jordi, I just think we've got a fully fit squad, so everybody will be wanting to play, yeah, definitely.